When you're the featured running back in Wisconsin, there are some pretty big cleats to fill to live up to the bell cow production established by workhorses like Monty Ball, Melvin Gordon, and Ron Dane. Corey Clement was in line to become the next great Badger back, but he was tripped up last season by injury and an off-the-field incident. Former Wisconsin receiver Brandon Williams has more on Clement's road to redemption for his name as well as his game. We haven't seen much of Corey Clement. The reason why the running back for Wisconsin has a left groin pull. Going into the Alabama game, were you 100% or was this an injury that was kind of lingering as you were coming out of training camp? Well, put it this way, I was dinged up a bit going into the game. It was my first opportunity to play against Alabama. Mm. And um, I didn't really get a chance to start against LSU when Melvin was here. So um, as I look back at it, it was my time, my opportunity to show the world what I can do and who Corey Clement was because I know there was a huge viewing for that game. Clement had a sports hernia surgery after just one game played, ends up missing eight games overall, and was also cited for disorderly conduct. Last year, you missed nine games. Yeah. Eight due to injury, one due to off-the-field incidents. Is 2015 a year you want to forget, or is 2015 a year that you want to learn from? Uh, as much as I want to forget, that is not possible. Uh, it's this road I've been on for the past, you know, five months, six months, you know, after everything happened as far as that whole fight, I would say that was a growth year. Clement cited for disorderly conduct, throwing a first punch in a dispute. Let's talk a little bit about the off-the-field incident that you had last year that prevented you from playing in the last game. How did you deal with it, and how have you learned from it? Uh, first off, don't lie. You no, know, right off the bat. Uh, I, I feel pretty upset that I had to lie to Coach Chris at first. And uh, it, it, that was the most embarrassing thing I had to do, was lie to my head coach's face. And uh, that's the one guy that you want to trust you. You know that your teammates are behind you 100%, but it's the head man that you always want in your back corner. Kind of wish I didn't do what I did. And uh, that night will always forever scar me because I, I think that was a, a learning curve that, you know, God put that in front of me just to say, you know, things will be magnified that much bigger if you think that you can get away with something. Clement bouncing to the outside, and he's in for the touchdown! That was vintage Corey Clement. So do you think that you've earned Coach Chris's trust back? I would say so, yeah. And um, I think they gave me a second chance because they know I'm a truly a good person. Uh, everybody makes mistakes, you know, once you get an opportunity, you need to make the most of it because I think my second chance is now. And um, I'm feeling 100%. I feel like I can earn their trust back, not only on the field, but off the field. I'm doing a lot of things, participating in a lot of events. I, I, I think the platform I try to build has to be trust first. And Corey Clement lunging for the end zone. He's back, and he wants to make an impact. Talking about Melvin, and being a guy who comes after somebody who puts up the numbers that he does, is, it, is there a lot of pressure in that situation? Uh, this, I mean, for anybody who was coming up after him, there was a ton of pressure. Here at Running Back U, you want to <laughs> make that name for your next, right. you, know, you know, for the next year. And Melvin was just so humble about all the awards he won. Being in the film room with him, he made it seem like everybody had an opportunity, you know, whether you know, tomorrow came or the next game, you know, he was always like, you know, stay on the edge of your seat, your, your time could be here. Now we're getting close to our Badger Hall of Fame or our Badger NFL wall, and so many great names on this wall, so many guys who've done so much for this university, and, and how will it feel to get your name on this wall? Everybody's dream who plays collegiate football, you want to get your name on somebody's roster one day. But um, it, to, to me, it will mean so much fulfillment that, and so much adversity I've overcome. And um, I just want to be the first to graduate from college, uh, university. Uh, just, you know, this will be another milestone that I can keep.